The main aim of the training was to work on self-sufficiency and a degree of isolation. Experienced leaders supervised the groups, however, who were never too far away should anything go wrong. Indeed, at one point, the Silver Group required assistance. The experience was quite difficult. It was quite um, a big jump from Brahms, where we walk a lot less. Um, and the weather conditions were quite bad, especially on the Saturday. It was raining, there was even hail at one point, so yeah, it was a challenge. And someone had an injury, so we had to stop. Um, and because we had to stop and we weren't moving and it was so cold, um, one of the members of our team actually got hypothermia. So we had to deal with that by trying to get her warm. Yeah, and we just like basically used the steps that they taught us yeah. on a previous camp and just tried to make her as warm as we could and work as a team in order to make sure that she stayed as, as okay as we could make her and wait for help to arrive. And how did you sort of keep spirits up and keep each other going? Well, we was all about making jokes, we were comparing thing, uh, our experiences to films, just to try and make it a little more entertaining. So just trying to keep each other up by working as a team, really. The experience was overall as expected. It was challenging in all the aspects, navigationally wise, we were okay. Um, but the physical side was obviously what we were looking at with this second camp. And it's always going to be challenging. It's Duke of Edinburgh Gold. But I think, as a team, we overcame it well. Um, it was challenging, but it comes to a point where you kind of motivate each other and you just kind of get through it as a group together. In my personal experience, this was probably my best one because I would argue I was with a very good group and we all got through it together. We learned a lot together and we all became closer together, so it was good overall. Challenging, but good. Uh, I'll pose this one to both of you. What is your takeaway from, from having done it? Uh, you know, first. I think I've connected better with my group and I think we all understand each other a lot better so we kind of know what to expect for France, we know sort of each other's boundaries and as such so we can help each other through it and I think it was an overall good experience, yeah. I think adding to that you also learn a lot about yourself and kind of how you, when you are play, faced with like a challenge or a difficulty, how you um, react to that and how you can better react to it. So like, oh, I could have done this differently, I could have kind of helped along a bit better in some scenarios. So I think it's a learning experience, not just about other people, but about yourself as well. This was the stepping stone to the qualifying adventurous journeys that take place in July for all participants, with the only difference there being the actual location. Whereas the Gold Group travelled to the Cévennes National Park in France, the Silver Group will travel to Grados Centre near Avila in Spain. The participants, whose ages range from 16 to 18, were all self-sufficient during this venture, carrying their equipment and food requirements and spending both nights under the canvas. So is this age ripe for those considering joining the award scheme? Well, the age range starts at 14 with bronze, 15 for silver and 16 for gold. Um, and it's, I think, the ideal age when young people are transiting from being young children into young adults and that's what the award really is is there to do to to help them develop from being a young child to somebody who can then do the things for themselves be self-motivated and and do their own thing really and uh, how did you find this group dealing with this experience uh, for example the silver group came across a, a bit of an issue with one of them uh, getting hypothermia how did you find that they dealt with that situation well the practice as a whole is meant to test their capabilities and see what they do uh, and if something goes wrong. Uh, and in this case, having experienced some people with sprains and injuries and also one or two people who were starting to feel the hypothermia effects, uh, they, they dealt with it very, very well. I mean, we couldn't have asked for the Silver Group particularly to have responded in the way they did. They did everything according to the letter and really um, everything went well from there. It was an eventful weekend, but one which the award director said provided participants and leaders with valuable training and assessment ahead of the qualifying ventures later in the year. In the coming weeks, further training, in particular personal fitness, will be implemented to ensure all have the best chance at being successful in their qualifying ventures.